Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Now down there, we've got the River Derwent. And where we're going to go today, we're starting off at Matlock. I've come through the park and we're going to take a walk up High Tor, Giddy Edge and Lover's Walk and end up at Matlock Bath. So I'm at the lower reaches of this walk, it's going to get pretty high. I believe it goes as high as uh, at least 300 feet at some point. Now Giddy Edge, mm, I'm going to see what it's like when I get there. It's um, noted as being one of the, if not the most dangerous walks in Britain. But there is another way around it in case I chicken out and we can get to the other side and still get to the top. So we've just come through, as I say, the park. You've just seen the footage of that. River Derwent there. Come with me and we'll follow this path around and see how we get up top. Now the next waypoint I'm looking for is to go under the bridge which carries the Matlock to Derby Railway line. I think that's coming into view just around this corner. Let's go and have a look. point you come to two bridges you've either got a footbridge which crosses over the Derwent or you're gonna go back under the railway bridge again on your left and on this occasion we want to go left Now between the two railway bridges, you go around the back, there's Pictor. And on Pictor, right at the very top, there's a war memorial. So I just had to come and see it. And just spend a few minutes here thinking. Right, so we're going to leave the War Memorial behind, get back on track. You can see down there, we've got Matlock. I've just heard the train go down on the line down there. Shoot all the way around. You can't, you can just make it out. Ryber Castle on the hill there. So I'll see you at the bottom. Right, so back on the intended route. So there's the second railway bridge we went under. Now we've got to go up this hill. And we've got to look for the first house on the right before we make our next turning. And here we are, so here comes the first house on the right. And we're looking for the gateway to take a right into the grounds of High Tor. Here we go.
So widen its way along there is the A6, that's Dale Road between Matlock and Matlock Bath. You can't make it out, but right, yeah, actually you might be able to see it right at the very bottom there. That is the Matlock Derby Railway line going off in that direction. I'm looking at that cliff edge over there and I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to do the giddy edge bit in its correct way. We'll have to see when we get there. Uh, still climbing the ascent. Bit of a footpath going off towards Ryber Castle over there. I don't know if you can see it a bit better now. We're a bit closer. Uh, just there, look. I remember many school holiday days walking up that hill with my mother. Dragging me up there. When it was open, there used to be a model railway in there. Absolutely brilliant as it was. And there's the Derwent. Right smack bang in the middle there, heading off back towards Matlock. We've got to be at least two, 250 feet high now, if not even higher. You know, it's already giving some breathtaking views. Um, I'm getting very close to the top, but I am getting a little giddy near the edge. And you can see where the name Giddy Edge probably came from because it's got to get even higher up here. from up here so that's looking back over towards Matlock again you've just seen how high we are I I can't comprehend what a sheer drop it is and over in that direction towards Matlock Baffert I could just see the heights of Abraham cable cars passing each other this is an unreal spot and there's no better time than now to get the flask out and have a bit of flapjack and just sit here. Looking that way, I could just sit here for a long, long time. So at this point, the path diverts. I think that is the regular way, and I think that's the giddy edge way. So I'm gonna have a look. Don't mean I'm gonna walk it. Mm. 
Right, just over halfway round. That bit was quite precarious. There's a bit of landslip there. I'm not sure how long this has been open or will stay open. There's no handrails currently, but there is a little bit further up. So let's get this finished. Strictly no public access. This is not a public domain. I think you'd be crazy to want to go down there anyway. It's actually the first bit of fence I've seen on this um, giddy edge. Right, let's let's finish off. Oh, I did it. I had severe doubts that I'd be able to do that. Um, now I've done it once, I'll probably go around and do it again and do it, you know, constant without cutting away so you can get a full feel of how it is from start to finish. But yeah, this is it. Back up to the top of High Tor again. Right, I think I deserve a cup of tea. And this bench is going to be ideal for that. Right, so I'm now making my way on the descent down to the bottom and back down towards Matlock Bath. That was absolutely brilliant up there. Not sure if we get a chance to do the lover's walk section. If we get time, we will. the other entrance to high tour ground just there we've just come down we've done the entire walk there's the heights of abraham cable cars going up there if you can see that so if you're coming from the matlock bath end and you know how to get there there's the other entrance for you to start and take this walk i hope you've enjoyed this video i flipping i've loved that that giddy hedge was phenomenal 
After this, there's a full length, um, my eye view of what the giddy edge looked like. Lasts about a minute and 30 seconds. Take care, like, subscribe, notification bell. I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.